what's going on YouTube check it out you can watch this video as it is but I would prefer you to uh, watch the Astros won the World Series video first uh, fuck it I'm gonna do it because it's me we had the option today to go to that that gum parade or keep working we had the option to leave early or to keep working I came in at 11.08 It is 10.53 p.m. Now we're delivery folks and um, we don't just drop. We build, we train, we teach. So it's not like UPS. Now UPS is a one hell of a working job. FedEx one hell of a working job because Please drive to highlighted route. You um you drop and go, you drop and go, you drop and go. That's some hard shit. They have hundreds of stops a day sometimes. It's rough. For us, today I had 14 stops. Again, I don't just drop and go. I drop, I train, I teach, and I build shit too. Of course, I'm not going to take off for a parade to go and worship some men that went out and played a game. Of course not. I find what I do quite important with the equipment and stuff that we deliver. Among some of the stuff that I ended up doing today, somebody needed oxygen. Somebody needed an oxygen regulator. There were supplies at a hospital that I had to refill so that I, the young lady that is stationed there can get them to the children that are there. Somebody's machine went out, another oxygen machine. We had a, a patient in... Uh, Another one of our hospitals that had been discharged. That was simple stuff there, but hey, that was stuff that they needed. Uh, we had a pulse ox machine which went out, which had to be replaced. Had more oxygen. And last but not least, well, nope, there was Galveston. More people who had to be discharged and go home. Guy was a uh, been in the hospital lives in Baytown so I had to edit my route to get to him um, at the skip uh, League City which is where I'm at now had to come from Houston skip League City skip Texas City as well to go down to UTMB Galveston so, so that he can go home to get him his wheelchair after his surgery and on to my last stop which I got here at what time did I get here this was originally going to be my third stop for today this is now my 14th stop I got here at 1015 had to build a hospital bed and I'm glad I didn't opt out because I got to shake the hand of a 93 year old World War II veteran this is why I stand up for the anthem this is why I don't disrespect the flag not because I just line up with the country and fall lock and step it's because men like this guy right here 
And I can't even give his, I'm not going to even give his full name. I'm going to say his first name, though. Ruben. Because guys like this fought for the country. 93 years old, World War II veteran. Just did a bed for this guy. This guy doesn't have a bed anymore. He's got one now. He's been sleeping in his power chair. Make sure to shake his hand, look him in his eye. At 93 year old, at 93 years old, might not be here tomorrow. Shook his hand, looked him in his eyes, told him, "Thank you for serving the country." The reason I'm out so late is because. Most of the people decided to opt out and go to this parade, be sheep, and follow the crowd, and take off, and say, fuck it. That's what an ass load of people did today. Went out to go and worship these guys who are playing a game. Turn right on Paisley Meadow Drive. I'm Paisley still 45 Drive. minutes away from the warehouse as of now. By the time I get the van cleaned out, it'll be midnight. No lunch break today, so it's been straight through. Changing lives, helping lives, making lives easier. That's the reality that people like me face. I think I had three there last week where I'm picking up equipment of people who passed away and you're dealing with those families on a day by day basis you never know what you're running into on a day by day basis So you go in day by day to try to make people's lives better. But yet I'm the coon and the sellout because I tell the truth. Because I speak the truth. I'm the coon, I'm the sellout. I'm the guy that gets absolutely no respect in my own community which I don't I never did and I think I've grown to like uh, I've grown to like the hatred I think I'm kind of a glutton for punishment I think I'm starting to enjoy it or accept it or something I'm gonna go home this weekend and guess whose phone's not gonna ring it'll be me back to the important shit there's people all over the country doing the same stuff that I do and then some people out there doing surgeries, people out there who are responding to emergency calls, whether they're going out because somebody got into a wreck, uh, maybe because there's a domestic dispute, maybe because there's a shooting that happened and they need to find out who did it. 
Maybe because there's somebody who's about to jump off of a bridge and they need to go and stop them from doing it. Maybe because somebody's in the middle of robbing somebody and they need to go out and take care of that. And we'll go out and we'll kneel down in front of the flag. And we'll go out and we'll disrespect those men who fought for this country. Go find another way to protest. Better yet, how many of these athletes are actually going out there? And I'm, I'm just all over the place with this here rant. How many of these athletes are actually going out into the community and talking to the youth? Look at this asshole just run up behind me. How many of these um, athletes are just are, are going out into the community and actually talking to these youths. I'm sure they can buy a couple of tickets and let some of them into the game because like I said, they would be thrilled and happy to come to these games and cheer you on because you guys are role models. Lots of people look up to you athletes. I mean, look at the sheeple. The Astros won the World Series. They shut HISD down. They just proved to the American people how important sports is and how unimportant education is. They shut education down here in Houston, just said, fuck it. They proved how important a voice is. About a thousand people got together. Staffers said, we want to celebrate the Astros. It's historic. And they won. They didn't protest at Common Core, though. Go out into these communities. Buy them some tickets, man. You guys are super rich. You guys got some power. Go talk. Go have some debates about the stuff you're protesting. Stop dissing your audience. These are the people I serve daily. People who fought and died for this country. It's amazing this man is still alive. World War II at that? Man. How many World War II veterans are alive today? I don't even much know. I deal with a lot of Vietnam veterans, but it ain't very many World War II veterans. Not many. He was 19 years old when he went and served. It was and his wife is still alive. His wife was still alive. I don't know how long they've been married, but she was still alive. I shook her hand too. They still together as a Young people can't even stay together during the pregnancy. Y'all screw each other and break up before the baby even born. It's the truth. But I'm wrong for speaking about it. And I can't help but express my disappointment. This was the most asinine thing to even allow this. And I'm highly disappointed with the company for even coming up with this option. So you have the option to go home early so that you can go to the parade. 
really? To even give folks the option to do it. Miss Love made a good point. Me and her was talking on Facebook. These same people who go out and take a knee when they have them come on, go out and praise these folks for playing the game. Break their neck to go downtown. You bunch of sheep. You're following the masses. And a lot of these same people who are followers huh. hmm. You're warned about being followers Everybody wants a leader Not a bunch of followers Then again, there aren't very many leaders left. And a lot of people follow the wrong leaders. A lot of people are not gonna follow. Let's put it to you like this here. The truth is the most unpopular thing that you can be. Truth is raw, unadulterated, unattractive, boring, rude, and crude. A lot of people don't like to follow the truth. The truth will tear your ass up. But a lie, you can even make a lie sound good. It's just a little white lie. Let's sugarcoat it. Another form of lying. But we withheld some of the truth. Another form of lying. Let's dance around the truth. Which is another form of lying. Lies are attractive. I can sit here and lie and tell you I'm six foot, 210 pounds, I'm shredded. That'd be a lie, because that sounds good, though. You never know. It's a lie. It sounds good. But the truth, I tell you the truth. I'm five, seven and a half, 170 pounds. Kind of chubby. I'm broke and my car's broke down. Not very attractive, is it? Nope. Not very attractive to tell you I got two kids. And I got the kids. And I'm fighting to get out of child support. Not very attractive, is it? But I can lie to you real quick and say, I'm 5'7 and a half. Father, two children. We doing the thing. You know what I'm saying? Responsible.
didn't see how the lie sounded good and how the truth didn't.
that have suicidal tendencies and canceling them. Some people have to have these therapies every day. And they're getting the treatment that they're needing. And if we're gonna start recognizing those type of people. When are we gonna actually start recognizing the actual teachers that give a damn about the students? Last time I checked, it seemed like every time we get teachers that give a damn about students, they end up getting fired. Why the ones who don't give a fuck end up being that 20, 30 years? Y'all know I'm telling the truth on that. I'm sure y'all got stories of the cool, young, and hip teacher that was helping everybody, boosting their self-esteem, and the old jealous bastards was hating on them, and them teachers got fired. When y'all gonna start back in y'all blue? That's cause... Yeah, there's some bad blue out there. And the good blue need to start speaking up too. And weeding them out, one by one. But there's a whole lot more good cops than bad blue. Literally, if we go out there and we just stop putting up a bunch of videos of good cops, there'll be so many more videos of good cops than bad ones. Because the only thing they're going to ever publicize is doom and gloom. They're going to publicize every video that they can of bad cops fucking up. They will. people. What do you call them? Ambulance guys. Whatever the fuck you call them. I'm sure the name will come to me after I upload the damn video. But I'm not editing shit. Those people. When we're going to start recognizing them. Firefighters. They running, burning buildings. All the time for a living. The rescue your black your asses. And we're gonna start recognizing them. Think about how selfish this was for the city to basically shut down. For HISD specifically to shut down the city. To shut down that school. Again, they said, fuck the education, let's go party. While they let Common Core go through and not say shit about it. There were a few that complained and said, you know what, we don't like this, but not enough. But there was enough to say, we want to go party. Think about that. Think about all these... Think about all these single-parent households where they were depending on their children to go to school so that they can go to work. And they weren't prepared for this and they didn't have any babysitters. So they were forced to take off work today. So they missed their paycheck. So they missed their pay. So, so they're gonna have a gap in their pay now because they were forced to sit at home with their kids who should have been at school today. Let's use women. I'm gonna use women now. Think about all the single women, hard working women, the queens, that have to sit at home because they didn't have a babysitter because they, they ain't got no man. And they had to sit at home and they ain't got no babysitter because they kids was out of school today and they had to miss work and now they check gonna be short. Think about all the single fathers out there had to miss work today because they didn't have a babysitter. They were depending on their children to be at school. Because HISD decided to shut their doors today and go out and party.
think about that. They bitch and moan all the time about, we don't have the money. We need to raise your taxes so that we can educate your kids. But the Astros win a game, the World Series, and it's time to party harder. Kids, it is time for your check to come up short. Oh, we don't care if you ain't got no babysitting. Your problem. Too bad, so sad. Anyways, the only reason I'm finna shut up talking is because I am out of memory. Anyways, you too. Chew on that for a minute. Ponder it. Swallow it. Stop being a bunch of followers, people. Have a good night. Good weekend. Good golf. Good tennis or whatever makes you happy. Marvin Zinless, I mean, fuck you and good night.